Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspies Hobbyland.com. People in a baseball mood today. 2018 Top Stadium Club Baseball Four Box Random Team Break Number Four, which is the last quarter of the case, right here. Done and done. This isn't done though. It's a four box random team number four, 2018 Tops Stadium Club Baseball. There you go. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. Now, if you have a little uh, rooftop next to your name, that means you got that in a spot random. Either the Angels or the Yankees spot random for our uh, definitive collection breaks. Bunch of combo teams. We took out some teams as well, so just keep that in mind. All that was in the item description. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Four and a four, eight times. Eight the hard way. One, two, three, and four. Then four more times. Five, six, seven, and eight. After eight times, Adam down to Sinyin. Eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got... The Yankees on top, and the A's in the 23 spot. And here's how it shakes out. Adam with the Yankees, Victor Z with the Dodgers, Joe P with the Giants, Chris Parent with the Phillies, John H with the Brewers and Twins combo, Sen Yin with the Braves, Lucas with the Mariners Blue Jays combo, Allen with the Angels, John Okre with the Nationals, J Mac with the Cubs, Eric O with the Diamondbacks, Andrew with the Mets, Chris with the Orioles, Jonah with the Cardinals, Chris Yates, you had Last Bod Mojo, Chicago White Sox, Sanford with the Reds, Marty with the Royals, Adam with the Marlins, Jordan with the Astros, Rory with the Tigers, Padres combo, Mark with the Indians, Andrew with the Red Sox, and Sen Yin with the A's. Diamondbacks are up for trade as well. Sort by column B, by team. Remember, these were the last four boxes from the uh, from the case. Two on-card autos in every box on average. And Sanford has the Reds up for trade. Maybe Reds Diamondbacks? Otherwise, we'll shut down that trade window. I don't think I have all the supplies I need. Red Diamondbacks? You guys are the only, only ones I want to trade. Sure. All right. Let me just notate that in the in the chat. Reds for snakes confirmed. So Sanford, you now have the Diamondbacks. And Eric, you now have the Reds. We'll put a little T next to the names here. So in case you're scoring at home, if you're keeping score at home, we can uh, we can see who draws first blood, who wins that trade. Just for a little added spice. All right, now we can officially close up the trade window. TWC trade window closed. Here is the final printout. Thanks, everyone. Oh, you know what I need to do, ladies and gentlemen? My Dodgers are playing the Angels in Anaheim. And so since our current 
internet service provider and cable TV service provider does not have the Dodgers network, I can watch them on the Angels network. And Kenta Maeda will be facing Shohei Otani. I think Shohei Otani's in the lineup today. Let's check the lineups here. Uh, yeah, Otani's batting six. So it'll be Kenta Maeda facing, uh, facing his countryman, Shohei Otani, in the bottom half of this frame. Nicholas Leslie's here wondering why people haven't filled up museum. Well, Nicholas Leslie, in case you didn't notice, today is a new release day. 2018 Topps Definitive Collection Baseball just dropped today. So I think that has been distracting everybody's eyes and their wallets. It's oftentimes that's what happens on new release days. Everyone kind of hyper focuses on the new release and then... I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we could still knock that out tonight. We will have time. Oh, nice, Nicholas. Got a bunch of stuff in, safe and sound. Thanks as always, he says. You are welcome, sir. Thank you for joining our breaks. On jazpiecehobbyland.com, home of the big hits. There you go, see? Good plug. Kershaw seems to be back on track. Johnny Bench. We got Craig Kimbrell, the orange foil for the Red Sox. And that's Derek Jeter, 12 out of 50. Nice Jeter right there. Never compromise, ladies and gentlemen. Never, Derek. We never will. We should be expecting two on-card autographs per box. Of course, love this stadium club because we've got such great photography. There's Mike Trout. He'll be facing Kenta Maeda in a little bit. Justin Upton? He's in the lineup today. We'll... There's Rysel Iglesias, black foil. And our first autograph is uh, Victor Arano for the Phillies. And that'll be for Chris Parent and the Fightin' Phils. There's the info on him. And that might Piazza's black foil as well. Those are slightly shorter printed. The reds are pretty common. The black and the orange ones, not as common. Or the black, yeah, black and orange, shorter printed. There's Richard Urena. Richard Urena, 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 going to the Blue Jays Mariners combo. Lucas with that one. APG in the house. <laughs> I love this photo of the oversized glove. Where can I get one of those? All right, that was box number one. Here comes box number two. The Angels and Dodgers seem to be going in opposite directions. I think the Dodgers, 
I guess depending on the results of tonight, I think Dodge have take are tied for first now with the Diamondbacks, or maybe has a slender lead, but I think the Dodgers will be battling the Diamondbacks for the remainder of the of the season, it looks like. But the Angels, who started off the season really well, you know, injury to this guy, you know, a couple bad series is here and there. And then they, they, they've been falling behind in a division that's already tough with the Mariners and the Astros. With the Mariners playing so well, and the Astros, of course, playing as well as one can expect them to be. All-Star game coming up. And I think, are they changing up the home run derby? Is Are they doing a draft? Is that what's happening? They'll be captains, and I, did I hear that right? Dodgers slugger Matt, Max Muncy might make an appearance in that. He's got... You should look at his numbers, folks. I don't think he has enough plate appearances to qualify, but he has, like, a zillion homers already in a, in very, in a very few amount of at-bats. It's kind of crazy. All right, next box, box two. Do they trade Orioles? Not a great season for the Orioles. Do they trade Adam Jones? You know, there'll be a lot of a lot of question marks for the O's. Where does Manny Machado go? I don't know if my Dodgers are actual real players in the Machado sweepstakes, at least at the trading deadline. I think they might just straight up try to go for him in the off season. I think there'll be players there, but I don't know if they will be in the middle of the season. Although one wonders, should they? Do the Dodgers? I mean, what the, my Dodgers have World Series aspirations, right? We got very close in a heartbreaker. So, with the Dodgers lineup, somewhat. I mean, they have Max Muncy, but essentially that that squad is. Essentially the same. Does does that match up with the Astros in a World Series? Over seven games. There's Andrew Stevenson for the Nats. Now one would argue that if you had Manny Machado in the middle of that Dodgers lineup, then you know you would I would give the edge to the Astros. Or the uh, Dodgers, that is. Otherwise the Astros still have the edge. They're the reigning world champs. They've got they got a great squad. And Dodgers have a good chance of re-signing Manny Machado as well, so there wouldn't be like it wouldn't just be a rental, right? Ideally. And nice Barry Larkin. For the Reds. That was a trade. That's unexpected. I did not expect Barry Larkin to pop out of here. Eric O drawing first blood in the trade. With the Reds, gets the Barry Larkin. Chrome Auto, 9 out of 10. That's why I didn't expect it. There's only 10 of these. Well, there you go. And that's box two in the books. Box number two. Clemson has Kenta Maeda in fantasy, and you need a complete game. Kenta Maeda has been pitching a lot better as of late and pitching deeper into games as well as of late. He's going to walk Trout? He doesn't want to throw to him. I don't blame him. Should the Angels trade Mike Trout? They couldn't, right? I feel like they, they could never trade Mike Trout. 
because who's going to, I mean, who's going to put butts in seats? But the Angels don't have, uh, what was that? Oh, that was a strike them out, throw them out. Um, or no, that was a ground out. It was ground out. Um, Angels don't have a very good farm system. They've got a couple guys, but it's not as not as deep as some other organizations. They've got a couple bad, like, you know, they got that Pujols contract that's still a big millstone around their necks. Big weight on their shoulders. You know, Otani's still young. They could, they could continue building around him. He's still young. All right, and there's Dylan Maples. <laughs> Patrick Goodwin with a trade Mike Trout for Bryce Harper. Patrick Goodwin was also the person that said that the Blue Jays would get would get Manny Machado just because Josh Donaldson was hurt. Not exactly not exactly a GM are you, Patrick? Um Clyde the Glide was saying earlier, hopefully he goes to the Dodgers and, and just not the Yankees. The Yankees have the pieces. They could do it. There has been, I feel like there has been some, some rumblings about, about, um, Bryce Harper possibly being traded. You know, if the Nationals should do that, Nationals have been struggling recently. Black foil Matt Carpenter. Cal Ripken, never compromise. And we've got Whit Merrifield. Nice. Another cool Whit right here. For the Royals. Marty with the Royals. These top loaders are falling all over the place. Nice one, Marty. Nice Whit Merrifield. Nationals and Braves have been talking about trading Harper to the ATL. Yeah, I can't, I can't see the Nationals doing that. Man, that, that fan base, if you traded... That's like trading Clayton Kershaw or Corey Seager to the Giants, wouldn't it? I would not help a divisional rival. I mean, unless you get a godfather offer. You know? Unless, like, the Na Braves are stupid enough to do a godfather offer. And, like, you'd have to move, like... The Nationals would have to get, like, Albius in return. Maybe Sean Newcomb. A couple other prospects. Like it'd be that'd be a, it'd be a big haul. I know Harper's struggling, but but it is a rental though. I mean, unless the Braves are confident that they're going to sign, I think um, I don't know who's going to take a chance on a rental. That's the thing with both of, with with Machado and with Bryce Harper. I don't. My feeling is Harper's not going anywhere. I think the Braves have a much better chance at getting. Manny Machado. I think... I think if you're the Brewers, what are the chances of the Brewers playing, you know, having everything click like it's doing this season and, and leading the NL Central? You know, that's not going to happen too often. With, I mean, with just with the deep pockets of the Cubs and blah, 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 blah. 
No offense to the Brewers, but but if they add a Manny Machado in that lineup and starting pitching, let's say you let's say Brewers take Machado and like Dylan Bundy, they get the starting pitching. They get a big bat and another another big bat in the middle of that lineup. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Town saying Harper to the Dodgers. If they're in playoff contention, that'd be interesting. I don't be, but the, see the Dodgers have a a glut of outfielders. They've got a lot of outfielders. That's why Verdugo hasn't been called up. He, he's been raking in, in uh he's been raking in Triple A, but they haven't called him up. There's Christian Villanueva for the Friars, but he hasn't been Verdugo hasn't been called up because there's just too many outfielders. Harper. I think the Dodgers would also rather have also rather have Machado. I think maybe after Corey Seager's elbow surgery, maybe push Corey Seager to second perhaps. Keep Machado at, at shortstop. There's Encarnacion, Black Foil. Justin Turner is a little bit on the older side. He's still producing, but... And for the Reds, Jackson Stevens. Rookie auto. It's another one for Eric O. Drawing more blood from this trade. But I don't know. I mean, the Orioles should have traded should have traded Manny Machado last year. They would have gotten a lot of value there. But that organization just hates making those trades. They always want to try to be competitive, but they get burned every time. And now they're having an exceptionally bad season this year. And so now everyone's just sitting there going, all right, well, hey, there's Ozzy Albius. Nice. Potential Rookie of the Year candidate right here for Sen Yin, who got this spot from a spot random. Nice. There you go. Was that three autos in the box? Or was that a leftover from the other box? I don't know. Either way... Orioles stating, Orioles stating that hey, they want to try to move Machado by the uh, by the All Star break. So we may see some action soon. All right, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Thanks everybody. The next uh, four boxes of Stadium Club Baseball we will be from a fresh case. So check it out. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.